everyone. Happy Friday. So I thought I'd get on here <laughs> and um, share. What are you doing hitting my phone? What are you hitting my phone for? What are you hitting my phone for? What's going on? Yes. Yes. Say hi to everybody, boys. Say hi to everybody. Oh, they're looking for chipmunk over there. Say hi, Milo. <laughs> Say hi, Milo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They can't even see your face. <laughs> There's Merlin. I think Kitten's out um, sitting on the chair in the kitchen. So, what's been going on around here? Well, if you saw my Facebook post or my um, post on our community page um, here on YouTube, you saw that my mother-in-law had to be admitted into the hospital. Um, she had a very bad, severe UTI. Her kidneys were shutting down. Um, my husband had taken her to the, to a doctor's appointment last week on Wednesday. They had given her an antibiotic. Um, Thursday, she just was not doing good. My husband went to spend the night with her, um, cause he was supposed to take her for some blood work, um, in the morning Friday at the hospital and he just decided to admit her. Um, um, so she was in the hospital all Memorial weekend. She got out on Memorial Day. Milo! He's been very itchy, um, lately because of the pollens, the rain, the everything. The cut grass. Yes, I probably need to get him into the vet. He's probably going to have to get some kind of medicine for allergies. Milo! <laughs> they all had a bath yesterday. Um, but they're all filthy again because <laughs> it's, it's, um, rainy again. It seems like every time I make a video lately, it's just been rainy, rainy, rainy. Um, just to answer real quickly, a question from a lot of people, um, about the floods that happened here in Michigan, um, the two dams, or maybe it was three. I can't remember if it was two or three dams that broke. Um, we did not have any flooding in my area that happened about, um, uh, an hour north of us. So everybody was okay here. No flooding around here. Right, Miggy? Yeah. What's the matter? Why are your ears like that? Why are your ears like that? <laughs> <laughs> Miggy had a terrible time over Memorial Weekend, too, because a lot of people were letting off fireworks, and he just did not like it, did you, Miggy? I didn't even think about fireworks for Memorial Day. Um, yeah, so I didn't even know where his thunder shirt was. Um, to get on him. So, <laughs> yes, you want me to keep petting you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You want me to keep petting you? Um, so during, to get back to my mother-in-law, during, um, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday that she was in the hospital, we had to deep clean her home. I'm not going to go into everything about, um, what, happened um but her home was not safe to go back to um we hadn't been going and visiting because of the COVID-19 um and let's just say things um went downhill since we seen her last um so it took us all weekend to get her laundry done um we found out that her washing machine had been broken. We don't know when. Um, I don't know if my husband's asked her since she got out of the hospital, but she was washing clothes by hand. Needless to say, her laundry was very backed up. So, um, <laughs> look at Max. <laughs> what are you doing, Maxer? What are you doing, Maxer? <laughs> um, so I think I did about 16 loads of laundry that weekend, getting her laundry all caught up. Um, and like I said, we spent all those days uh, cleaning her home, getting it safe for her to return to once she got out of the hospital. Um, she's doing better now. She's still, she's still weak. I noticed um, the other day that she's still leaning onto counters, hanging onto things as she's walking. She was having bad dizziness. Um, as you guys know, a lot of you probably know, people who are elderly, she's 74. Um, that get UTIs, which she we think she's had this for, or she had it, because it's clearing up now. We think she had it for quite a while. Um, we found out she was buying 
um, over-the-counter things from Rite Aid trying to help it. So she knew she had one, something was going on, but um, didn't want to go to the doctor. And I'm sure, as a lot of elderly people are, they were scared to go to doctor's offices and go to the hospital due to this virus. Um, so she wasn't telling us about it. And she, a couple of weeks before she went to the doctor, she was telling us she wasn't feeling good. Um, but then she'd say she's getting better and then she wasn't feeling good again. And I told my husband, I said, something isn't right. I said, she needs to go to the doctor. She need or go to the urgent care or go to the hospital, something. She has to be seen because I remember with my grandma, she had UTIs quite often and they just took her down. Um, so Anyways, needless to say, she went to the hospital. Well, she went to the doctor first. Then we put her, we admitted her to the hospital. And she um, improved really quickly. And um, like I said, she's still weak and not doing the greatest. So we decided very quickly that she was moving closer to us because she lives about an hour away. Uh, 45 minutes to an hour away, depending on traffic. Um, and my husband said, Mom, you're moving. You're moving closer. So we can um, check on you every day, um, help you, and make sure things are going okay. Clean your house. Do whatever we got to do to help her. So let me go out here real quick. So what's today? Today is Friday. So she got out of the hospital Monday. And <laughs> we've already got her a place to live. <laughs> we move fast. When we're determined to do something, we move fast. Um, if you guys see in many of my videos behind us, oh gosh, you probably can't see it because the tree. Okay, you can see one right there. Sorry, my big finger here because I got it zoomed in. There's a manufactured home com uh, community behind us. There's a farm field in between our backyard and this um, manufactured home community, which she lives in one now. So we are getting rid of that one, and she's moving right basically in our backyard. <laughs> you can see her street. Uh, you can't see her um, home she's going to be living in, but you can see her street if you're sitting on our back deck. So, we get the keys the first, which is Monday. So, <laughs> she got out of the hospital Monday. She's We got the keys to the new place the fo this following Monday. So, yes, when, when my husband gets his mind set to something, he moves quick. <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he, Miggy? Yes, he does. So, this weekend... We will probably um, uh, be busy um, packing her up and um, getting her ready to move. When we get the keys, we'll probably do a thorough cleaning. They clean them, but whenever you move into a new place, you always want to clean the bathrooms and kitchen really good. Yes. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> so um, we're going to be busy um this weekend and probably that following week so um i'm not sure how many videos i'm gonna have out um during all this um yeah it's been very busy around here so that's what's going on with my mother-in-law um mazi i got his blood results done from his blood work uh if you remember when i took him in to have that lump checked on his back leg they did the blood work he needed um, that he has done frequently due to his gallbladder being removed and due to the hepatitis he has on his liver. And if you remember, we had taken him off steroids and I had to wait two months to get it retested. Well, since he's been off those steroids for two months, both liver enzymes have went up and his white blood cell count has went down. So not good blood test results. <laughs> and I was just devastated because I was just praying and hoping that they would come back great and um, we could just continue on the medicine he's on and he'd be fine. So, the doctor wants to try him on, um, he, she, st she said obviously he needs a steroid, but taking prednisone always makes, he doesn't react good to the prednisone. So, we're trying a different steroid um, that we have to have compounded. So, she had to call that into a, a pharmacy in Sterling Heights, Michigan, which is about an hour away. And then the mycophenolate that he's on, she wonders if we should try a lower dose. But we're already 
cutting those pills into quarters. She said we can't cut them any smaller. So she had to have that one compounded as well at this pharmacy. So they were gonna mail it to me, but they said because due to the COVID-19 problem, mail has been really slow, even shipping at priority, it could take a week. And I said, well, you guys are only an hour away. I will drive and get it. So just call me when it's ready. So she called it in, uh, was it Thursday or Friday? Friday? No, she called it in Thursday. They called me yesterday. Um, it should be done today or tomorrow. So I'm going to have to drive. My daughter and I are going to drive to an hour away and get his meds so he can start them as soon as possible. And then after he's been on it for two weeks, he's got to have blood work redone. So that's what's going on with Mozzie. He don't seem to be having any, any issues. I have noticed he's been drinking a little bit more water, but it's been really hot here. Of course, it was really hot during the weekend. It was in almost 90. And of course, my mother-in-law's air wasn't working. So it was like we were cleaning that house in a sweatshop. It was terrible. We would come home, take a shower, and we would just crash and go to bed. Um, so yeah, it was a uh, Memorial weekend was not the greatest weekend for us. <laughs> not the greatest weekend. We did not have fun. Um, like many others here in Michigan who headed north um, because our governor opened up part of northern Michigan. She still has not opened up the rest of Michigan, which is a whole nother story. <laughs> so yeah, so I just wanted to give get on, give an update on how everything is going. Um, this year has just been 2020. I'm sure has not been a good year for many. Um, yeah, it's just, it seems like a never ending black cloud over this house lately. <laughs> it just needs to move on, move on. So I'm hoping and praying, um, that this steroid works for Mozzie and he just may have to be on a steroid, um, the rest of his life. I don't know yet. Um, and hopefully this one works a little better for him. We shall see. Um, so, all right. Okay. I'm going to end here. Just so wanted to give you guys an update of why you still may not see us very much. Um, due to just, it's it's going to be crazy busy here getting my mother-in-law moved and settled in. So I will try to make little short updates um, throughout all this and um, keep you guys informed and um, let you know how Mozzie's doing with these new uh, the new steroid. I'm hoping he has no bad side effects. And everything works out. So, all right. I'm already at 13 minutes almost on this video. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I've got to wait for that pharmacy to call me. So, we can head out um, either today or tomorrow. And i got to get my own house in order. <laughs> you know, when you get really busy um, doing other stuff, your own house um, takes a beating. So, that's what i got to do today. Get things in order around here and do some laundry for myself. So, all right, guys, um, hopefully we'll talk to you guys again soon. I hope everybody's doing well, and um, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. You going to give me kisses on my hand? You going to give me kisses? You going to give me kisses? You're so nice. You're so nice to give me a kiss. Yes, yes, you are. I love you. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.